Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to some more Overwatch. Today it is time to play a couple of games with one of the supportive heroes in the game. Today we're going to be playing some Symmetra. Now we are the defending team on Hollywood and we have a minute right now to set up our defenses. And we are one of the few heroes that really does need that full minute to set up the defenses. Because basically we'll have to put up a bunch of little sentry turrets. And we gotta find a position that we really want to go ahead and defend. Now there's a couple of really cool areas. I generally speaking really like putting them over here. But it's basically what happens is I can put them right above this little doorpost right here. And the enemies have a really difficult time to go ahead and attack through that. Now, on top of that, I could also provide the team with 25 extra HP and shielding. And it's actually recently got nerfed. Used to be 50. Uh, but basically, what happens is that, you know, if I use my E ability, you see that little bit of blue bar right there on Mr. Junkrat. Um, he basically has a little bit of extra sustain that also automatically regenerates. Now, I can put up six of these little sentry turrets at a single time. And what happens is that if an enemy walks through that area, he is basically going to be taking a bunch of damage. And that area is actually really, really common to be uh, fighting through. I can also obviously put multiple over there. It doesn't really matter exactly where I put them. But I do want to go and play relatively defensive around my turrets. Did just get hit, sadly. So we'll have to find uh, real quick a... Uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, a little bit of a uh, little bit of healing now a bunch of my base health is actually just straight up shoots So it will automatically regenerate anyway, but we got to be careful Obviously you want to try and be at a high amount of health no matter what looks like there is gonna be a Widowmaker on the enemy team So that's one of the heroes that can actually go ahead and one shot us with a headshot So that's something to keep in mind here But we're basically a hero that shines at defense and there's a couple of heroes like this in the game But really we are we are made for defending okay, we are made to um you know, play on the defending end of the team. We don't really worry too much about attacking. That's not our specialty. We just gotta make sure that we stay alive um, and, you know, keep the team uh, keep the team supported. Um, the nice thing about this hero is that she's actually a supportive hero. And there, by the way, you can see the damage that they do. Uh, they do quite a little bit. Um, while we are one of the supportive heroes in the game, we don't actually do any healing. Like, our healing is not great. Uh, we can provide that little bit of shielding that I already talked about. And that's basically it. That's going to be our specialty um, because of the ultimate that we have as well. And the ultimate is widely regarded to be one of the absolute strongest in the game. Because basically, we can put a teleporter up that allows us to get the team a little bit faster back into the combat. So right here, I did put up my ultimate, which is that teleporter. And right now, there will be a portal at the starting area of our team. And basically, it will allow my teammates to teleport straight towards the objective right now. And oftentimes, that results in us getting a ton of extra, um, you know, sustain for the team. So apparently, someone just walked through the little area. You can see, they have a lot of trouble. They're having a ton of trouble trying to get to this area. And that is exactly the goal of Symmetra. We try and be a nuisance to the enemy team. Um, they did just sadly manage to blow up most of my turrets. A little bit annoying. But, um... You know, that's that's what we shine at. So I don't actually need to back up there. We got a little bit of extra shielding as well from what I believe to be Torbjorn's turret. However, uh, we got to be careful there because uh, their Widowmaker is trying to be annoying as well. I'm going to spread them out a little bit more. But you can see, like, constantly my teleporter is being used. And it allows the team to play a little bit more aggressive in defending scenarios as well. Now, this right here, by the way, is my left mouse button click. It's super good. Basically, if it hatches onto an enemy, it doesn't really go away as long as you follow them around for a little bit longer. And um, obviously, it just simply it just simply deals damage to them without really you having to aim. It just needs to, you know, hit an enemy initially. Now, on top of that, besides my uh, right mouse button click, which is also really good, um, it goes through shields. So, like, if I hold down the button, it becomes stronger and stronger the more I use it. Although, they are actually destroying most of my turrets. Ugh, annoying. Annoying little bastards. Oh, man, they're murdering all of it. That's annoying. Guys, they're murdering my turrets. I don't like this. Oh, man. Oh, man. They're doing work, though. They're getting through it now. That's not quite what I had in mind. Okay, well, we have to back up. We'll have to back up here. Um, one thing to note about the ultimate as well, by the way, is that the ultimate doesn't actually start charging until after I have my... Um, you know, a current uh, teleporter destroyed. So that's one really important thing to keep in mind. Now, about that right mouse button click, what I was trying to say there, and we do get taken out there. About that right mouse button click, the little orb that I shoot charges up the longer I hold down my right mouse button. Uh, but it goes through shields. So that sort of makes this hero a really great counter to, uh, for example, um, what's his name? Like, for example, Reinhardt, right? Who has a really big shield in front of him, but he's not particularly fast. Really big hit marker. That orb does a ton of damage. And... Um, 
uh, oftentimes you can sort of like dodge in and out of combat with it. Now, it looks like they actually are doing a very good job of doing, uh, doing the damage here. Kind of annoying. I obviously am going to shine if I manage to set up shop somewhere. Reaper, I don't really want to, you know, take you out like this, but if I have to, I'll go ahead and do so. Oh, there we go. All right, putting the teleporter up in this area once more as well. In short range combat, it's definitely a trade off. I'm going to be setting up shop over here again, though. Because, well, I like this area. And if I manage to do so, it's going to be really helpful. Okay. Is she going to go here? I don't know if she wants to go here. We'll see. We'll see. 22 seconds remaining right now. If you manage to hold on for a little bit longer, we will pick up the victory here. That's very nice. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh, we got backdoored right there by uh, by Mr. Reaper. Managed to do a, managing to do a lot. But you can see, like, we will never really be one of the top damage dealers in the game. We will never be the top healer in the game. But we can uh, actually win the game as long as we manage to... Um, you know, set up our supportive capabilities properly, defending an entire lane on the map, right? On this particular map, there's like two areas where the enemies can come through. We basically defended one of them single-handedly, and we even got to play the game, I think, for it as well. Plus, on top of that, obviously, we got that teleporter. Um, so, while we may never be topping any of these things, and we never really may be getting the most medals, it's an extremely powerful hero, if played correctly. And, you know, I guess uh, the play of the game sort of Proves that fact as well, so we got a lot of damage done there. Nice. Alrighty, and for the second match, we find ourselves on the defending team on Numbani. Now, once again, we are definitely gonna need that minute to set up our defenses. There's one really powerful positioning that I like on this map in particular that's really difficult to break. Basically, on this particular map, the attacking team has to go ahead and attack objective A and then escort a payload towards B. So first off, they have to stand in this circle type thing here before unlocking that payload. And they've got like two access ways towards that objective. The first one is right over here. Second one is right over here. And since this is a really high ceiling, they oftentimes can't just use a Vara to sort of like shoot the rockets and like, you know, try and break the uh, break the turns that I've got. Instead, they are, um, instead they are uh, forced to basically just wait for me to, uh, to uh, you know, slowly but surely get rid of these little turrets. And oftentimes, as long as I focus on it well, we're going to be in a good spot. Now, notice as well, we are running two supports now. While I technically am considered a support, I'm not a dedicated healer like, for example, Mercy is, right? So I've got a bunch of my turrets set up already. Got a bunch of the shields already provided to the team. And we're going to try our very best right now to prevent the attacking team from getting towards the objective. And once again, I am going to try and block off an entire alleyway, an entire passageway towards the objective. Now, apparently they do have a, uh, a mercy on the attacking team. That's something that we do have to keep in mind. Because I'm not going to be able to shine in that scenario. Not if she can one-shot me, obviously. With a headshot, I will be dead. I will regenerate all of my life, obviously, rather quickly, but... One thing to keep in mind. Now, we have a really powerful turretly type setup. Oh, though certainly I do get taken out there with the Orb of Discord on me. The Orb of Discord basically makes me take a ton of additional damage. And Orb of Discord, oh, and immediately we do get taken out. Now, luckily for us, we did immediately get uh, we did immediately get resurrected there. I'm going to move around here and get back towards my, uh, my safe positioning, which apparently just did take out McCree. So that's good. That's good. We just take out this entire area. Look at it. So good. Okay, we're gonna put up our ultimate over here. So hopefully the team will be able to get over here. Obviously, we are still gonna have to make sure that we don't just randomly die. Looks like they're actually breaking it so far. Relatively okay. I set up my teleporter over here so my teammates can help me out a little bit faster. Uh, but obviously, we can just sort of like move the turrets over to a more defensible position right now as well. Gotta keep in mind, if you have more than six up, you will just start replacing the first ones again. So... That is one thing to not forget about, I suppose. Like, if I move more than six out, we're in a pretty scary position. Okay. So far, so good, though. Doing a lot of work here. Get a bunch of eliminations and actually the most damage done right now on the team with a supportive hero, right? So, so far, they haven't managed to capture A yet. And that's really what we are trying to achieve here. Ideally, I do set up shop over there again at the top of the ceiling there. So, I'm going to wait until I have three turrets ready to move over. Okay, well, in this scenario, though, if I can get the damage chain like this, I'm okay with that. All right. Nice little usage right there by uh, our May player of her ultimate, allowing me to get some extra time out to once again set up shop over here above the ceiling. And, well, so far, 
We're definitely doing work. We're definitely doing work. Now, this uh, this teleporter is in a bit of a scary position. It's not the strongest positioning on that teleporter. Oftentimes, you put it right behind A. But we'll do so once we uh, we do get our position broken here. It's just a matter of time, really. Like, oftentimes, they do buy ourselves, or they do buy us enough time here to, uh, to oftentimes get, like, half of the duration done. And that's really where uh, Symmetra does start to shine. Now, I gotta be careful. <laughs> Looks like Toby1 is healing me up, though, which is nice. Now, obviously behind Shield of Reinhardt, I'm gonna be able to just sort of, like, get over there. We do actually pick off the victory there. Although McCree is here. McCree is busy being a bastard. Okay, we have to uh, do have that Orb of Discord on us once more. Don't really want to fight with it. He already moved it over, though, so that's fine. Um, normally, the position of the teleporter is gonna be right over here. Uh, basically, it's right behind A, which is really a good spot, obviously, as you may have already guessed. Whew. Okay. So, they are currently doing a good job of trying to get over here. Although, uh, that ultimate of D.Va is scary. Does a lot of damage. Actually, I don't really want to move it over yet. They still haven't quite broken my other position yet. There is a Widowmaker up on the high ground there. So, that's something to keep in mind. Okay, so far so good though. Got a lot of extra armor here as well. And we're getting back towards our beautiful setup shop over here. Uh, there's a bunch of turrets here already. Okay. They're gonna have a difficult time breaking that. Pretty much always. Once again, putting up as many shields here on the team as possible. Getting go back in with the left mouse button click now. Like I said, this is a scary position for us to be in. I got a lot of health here. So that makes it a little bit easier. Oh no. And I do finally get taken out there by the Widowmaker player on the high ground. She's done a lot of damage to us. But as you can see, that once again, right, we're just buying time. That's really where we shine at. That's just really where we shine at. Apparently, our ult did get taken out just now, which is unfortunate. It's got a halfway charge right now, so we'll have to move back towards the objective here. I'll see if I can put up my ultimate in the uh, the more common position, I suppose, behind, the, uh, behind uh, objective A. Oh, it is object- Oh my god, it is high noon right now. Okay. I don't really want to fight here. I don't really want to fight here. No, Loco, do not get taken out. Do not get taken out. Okay. Okay. So far, so good, though. It's already overtime at this point, which is a good indication for us. Just in case I put up my ult here. The ultimate here is the best spot in the game, pretty much. Because it's gonna give us a lot of extra potential to get back into the game fast. Overtime is running out. And once again, I'd like to think that, at least partly due to my efforts, we do pick up the victory. Just because we killed, like, we slowed them down as much as we did. So, nice little match right there. We didn't show up with any, any like, you know, golden medals here. And we don't really show up as, like, the best player. But it's sort of like the hidden force behind the team that really... You know, just ends up uh, being a nuisance to the team, or to the enemy team, that is. And just really provide support to the team without really being much of a healer. And I really do like that idea. She's a full-on support, but not a healer. It's a cool idea. It's a really awesome idea. And she's really powerful as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you haven't already, hit the like button. If you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button. Everyone is commending me. Can we get an epic? Epic. Awesome. So I want to thank you all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile. And I'll see you in the next one.